Thank you so much, and so nice to see all of you here today. Uh, it's an honor to be here, and of course, um, you know, it's a really good time on the Board of Supervisors. We actually have five women on the board, and uh, you know, in our workplace, uh, I have the great fortune of being able to know that my salary that I earn is the same as what Supervisor Wiener is earning as well. <laughs> uh, we are making the exact same thing. Uh, but I know that you know there are uh, places in the private sector where maybe that is not the case. And so I think that all of you are here today, obviously, because you care a lot about uh, gender equality and uh, obviously want to learn um, from each other. And I think that's a really great opportunity. And so I think from the government perspective, as Amy said earlier, you're, I'm sure you're tired of hearing from us all the different regulations uh, that we want to impose on the private sector. So really, I think for me, the message that I would love to impart on everyone is uh, the idea of mentorship, uh, setting example. I think that's really important in how it is that we can foster uh, the next generation of leaders and making sure that everyone uh, experiences workplace equality. Uh, for me, I think that uh, you know politics was not something I originally intended to go into. I uh, saw it as a, a predominantly male-heavy uh, environment, but because they had such a great mentor, someone who encouraged me to do this and uh, said that you have every skill set to be able to accomplish this, that's what inspired me to do it and inspires me to also pass along that inspiration to future women uh, leaders uh, who can see that if I can do it, maybe you can too. And so I think mentorship is really important beyond some of the, the regulations and the principles that we want to impart on people, uh, setting examples. And so, and then the last thing that I would say is my focus has been uh, a lot on actually fostering the younger generation of females. I think it's really important to, you know, as we're looking at the sort of disparities in, in salaries, let's actually take a look at where those disparities are in terms of the different sectors. So science, technology, engineering, math, and STEM education, really fostering that for young women. Uh, I was talking about it with my partner today. Uh, he was telling me that in his third year of his electrical engineering major in college, there were, he counted, there was one female in his class and 48 males. And so I think that we really need to, to start there, younger generation, what you talked about, elementary school, middle school, and high school females, and how it is that we can get them into the various sectors where there is a disparity. So, uh, so that's something I'm going to be working very hard on. And I want to thank all of our partners, of course, in the private and public sector. And I hope that you all learn a lot today. So thanks for being here. You're also a member of the Board of Supervisors. and. Uh, uh, th uh, thank you for having me uh, here today, and uh, Nancy, Nancy Christian Rodriguez is one of my constituents, so um, we're uh, uh, really uh, uh, doing well here in San Francisco in terms of so much of the work that we're, uh, that we're doing. Um, you know, I, first of all, I want to say that I think uh, Mayor Lee undersold himself a little bit. Um, yes, we are up to um, five uh, members of the Board of Supervisors being women out of 11, so you can't ever have exact half and half, but we're as close as you can be. Um, and that is you know, because he has appointed, uh, and in San Francisco when there's a vacancy in any elected office, uh, the mayor appoints uh, the vacancy. Uh, mayor Lee has filled four elected vacancies, three on the Board of Supervisors, and one our uh, assessor recorder, and four out of the four have been women. Uh, and uh, uh, really all um, very, very uh, strong and talented uh, people. And uh, we recently uh, elected, well, actually two in a row now, we first elected Roger Tang as our board president uh, for a month uh, window after David Chu went to the state assembly. Uh, and she, uh, in her, she's always the reluctant uh, politician, <laughs> she, um, which is one of her great strengths. Uh, uh, she uh, uh, ended up uh, not wanting to pursue that, and so we elected Supervisor London Breed to be our, our, uh, our board president. So, and, and really when Supervisor Tang was elected board president, that was the first female board president we'd had in about 15 or 16 years. Uh, and so it was long overdue, and uh, so we're uh, trying to put our money where our mouth is in terms of really uh, encouraging uh, leadership from, from everyone. Um, you know, we also know that in San Francisco, uh, we have a, an incredible history of uh, groundbreaking legislation to ensure gender uh, equity uh, in the workplace and elsewhere. And uh, uh, Mayor Lee mentioned uh, the uh, flexible work schedule legislation that we passed about a year ago. Uh, but we can pass all the laws in the world, and you're never, that's not going to get you where you need to go. You have to have great partnerships from employers. 
And we are so lucky in San Francisco uh, to have uh, employers who really get it. And a lot of them are in the room today, and we're really thrilled that they're being honored for their innovative work to ensure that everyone uh, in the workplace is treated uh, with equity. Everyone has a chance to advance uh, and to succeed. Uh, and then finally, I just want to uh, say how proud I am of the work we've done in San Francisco uh, to uh, reduce uh, violence uh, against women, against children, against everyone. Uh, we have uh, really uh, uh, tried to put our money where our mouth is when it comes to saying that we are going to have a zero tolerance uh, policy around domestic violence. And Mayor Lee has been an incredible leader and has done some really hard things uh, to try to say we're going to really uh, uh, do that. Um, and uh, we're going to continue to insist uh, uh, that violence against women or anyone has no place uh, in our city, whether it's in the workplace, or whether it's in the home, or anywhere else. And so again, thank you for all your work. Thank you to all the employers for your innovation. I look forward to working together.